Let us do a fun exercise. Write down a whole number. Whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on, right? So you can write down any whole number. I am taking 13 as an example here. Then check if the number is even or odd. If your number is even, divide the number by 2. But if the number is odd, multiply the number by 3 and then add 1 to it. For example, here the number is odd. So we will multiply 13 by 3, which is 39, and then add 1 to it. This becomes 40. Now we will repeat this step 2 with the result obtained. So our result is 40, which is again even. So we will divide it by 2. And this becomes 20. 20 is again even. So we divide it by 2 and get 10. 10 is again even, so we divide it by 2 and get 5. Now 5 is odd, so we'll multiply 5 by 3, which is 15, and then add 1 to it, which becomes 16. 16 is again even, we divide it by 2 and get 8. 8 is again even, we divide it by 2 and get 4. 4 is even, we divide it by 2 and get 2. 2 is again even, so we divide it by 2 and get 1. Now 1 is odd, so we'll multiply 1 by 3, which is 3 and add 1 to it, so that becomes 4. Now we know that 4 will again become 2, 2 becomes 1 and 1 becomes 4. So we end up in this 4, 2, 1 loop and this is called collapse conjecture. Let us just understand it better using one more example. Let us take 7 now. Since 7 is odd, so we will multiply it by 3 which becomes 21 and then we add 1 to it and it becomes 22. 22 is even, we divide it by 2, becomes 11. 11 is odd, so we multiply it by 3, which will be 33, and then add 1 to it, becomes 34. 34 is again even, so we divide it by 2 and get 17. 17 is odd, so 17 into 3 is 51, plus 1 is 52. 52 is even, divide by 2 and get 26. 26 is again even, we divide it by 2 and get 30. But we just saw what happens with 13, right? So we can say that 7 also ends up in this 4 to 1 loop. I mean, you can try this for multiple whole numbers. For example, this is how it turns out to be for 50. So the question is, is it true for every whole number? Well, we don't know. And this is why it is called a conjecture. A conjecture is something which does not have a real proof or evidence. Mathematicians have tried this for huge numbers. For example, this conjecture has been shown to hold true for huge numbers such as 2 raised to power 68. But whether it holds true for every whole number is still an unsolved mystery.